Today, I'm going to walk you through how to build a Metabase dashboard with CSV files. Metabase is a BI application that allows users to create dashboards or emails. Metabase dashboards have been becoming increasingly popular. Not only is it low cost with an open source tier, it's relatively intuitive and easy to use. Unfortunately, at the moment, only databases are supported through Metabase. So if you have data from third-party apps or CSV files, you can't import them directly. CSV files are one of the most common ways to store data, so not being able to import them can be a pretty significant obstacle. Luckily, there are still ways to build a Metabase dashboard with your CSV files. I'm going to show you how we can use ACO to import your CSV files and then send the tables over to Metabase. First step is to add our resource. This is where your data will live. I'll be uploading a single CSV file filled with sales data. If you have multiple CSV files all with the same set of columns, you can go ahead and upload them as a batch file and they will be combined for you. You'll be able to remove and add files to your batch file after creating it as long as the columns are the same. Once you select your file, you'll get a nice preview of your table. You'll have options for auto detect schema or safe mode. Auto detect will automatically detect your column names and types for you. If you have any issues with that, choose safe mode, which will deal with most errors you'll encounter. If everything looks all right, we can go ahead and upload. Next, we're going to add it to a project. Just click on the resource and name the project. I'm going to name it Metabase Demo. The project is where you'll be able to view and transform your tables. Now you can see we're in the Metabase Demo project. Up in the toolbar, you'll be able to access a variety of no-code tools, such as filtering, joining tables, pivoting tables, and cleaning data. There's also a tool for creating new columns from formulas. I'll demonstrate how you can filter on the column order date. This data includes information from January 2018 to December 2021. Let's say I'm not interested in the year 2018, so I want to filter out everything before January 2019. I can do that by going to filter, selecting the column, the logic is or after, and the date January 1st, 2019. Now we only have data from 2020 and 2021. For more examples on how you can edit your data, visit the link in the description box below. All right, now our table is ready for export. The export button is the little cloud button on the right, and we select Metabase from the drop-down menu. This will take us to workflows, where you should drag Metabase into the canvas and link it to the table we want to export. A pop-up box with credentials will show up, which you will need to set up your connection to Metabase. You only need the credentials once, and I'll also link the instructions for setting up the connection in the description box below for you to follow. So how do you set up your connection? Copy your dataset ID and download your JSON key file. Open Metabase and navigate to Settings and then Admin. Click on Add a new database. Choose BigQuery as your database type and name your database whatever you'd like. Copy in your dataset ID and upload your key file. Now if you exit admin, you can see that your dataset has been linked. Now we can create a new dashboard with the data from our CSV files. There are many kinds of visualizations you can choose from. In the editor, there are also more granular options you can set and different summary statistics you can choose from. I can create a gauge to show total profits, or create a line graph to see how profits are changing over time. Or I can even create a similar line graph with additional breakdowns by product category. Once you have your CSV files in the ACO database, you can easily come over to Metabase and create the right dashboard for you.